first bluegill of the day. There was a hit. Corks him into taking it here. Got, kind of hoping there he was again. I was kind of hoping we get into some crappy here, but this must be a small one. Oh, yes, he is. Just a little one. Put a hook in him and call him bait. So what we're using here is a little 64th ounce jig head and then I'm tipping it with a one inch Berkeley Gold Mini by itself. And then just letting this current kind of sweep it along its path. So far all these fish are doing are just pecking at it and grabbing hold of it and not really hitting it real real hard. But it's just a simple cast and retrieve. We cast it out there, we let it sink, slowly watch my line. If I see my line jerk, I'll set the hook. And I'm actually not even jigging it, I'm just slowly dragging it, slowly swimming it. This nano fill line then up through this rod, I can feel them when they when they suck it in. It feels like a little tick on the line. And just set the hook and fish on. Kind of just like this. dark colored one little male little male fish hmm. nothing real real big but they are coming to the they are starting to come at a pretty regular clip now I'm gonna give this area just a couple more minutes. I want to relocate and see if I can't find some crappy down. Maybe downstream a little bit farther. See what kind of shape they're in. Oh, there was a hit and a miss. That was a little bit more violent hit than they have been. My mini may be going after that one. Well, maybe not. There, he clipped it again. Yeah, I'm grabbing a hold of that one. I'm trying to go through these are a little faster rate than I'm used to. Too. Let's go back out there. See what we can't do. Just cast out and let it drop and watch my line. Slow retrieve. Just retrieve a couple feet and let it drop again. Because each time I start retrieving, that jig will actually raise up in the water column. There's one. Raise up in the water column. This is just a little one. Another little one. A little female. 
tell the difference from the last one. The last one was a male, this one's a female. If you look at the colors, on a little bit lighter color down here, and this gill plate's a little bit smaller. When they get to breeding, if you look at the scale tipping up here, a, a female won't have black scale tipping. A male will have black scale tipping all the way up through there. So, back in she goes. Maybe one more cast. Because a little poolage is good. But I don't think we're going to get any size right here. To relocate for some size the same deal cast out this wind dies down i can have a little better connection with the jigs too a little more control over them what will happen if i start jigging oh there's one that didn't take long another little one oh there was something a little bit bigger just came up after him Oh, I may just keep him on here and see what we got going here. Second time that fell. What the heck is that? A big fish following him. That's a little striper. Pretty cool if you grab a hold of him. Oh, that was a large mouth. That was not a striper. That is a large mouth bass coming after him. Get him in here long enough. He's going to come up and get him. I'm hoping you guys are seeing this. That was pretty cool. May have to go back and get my swim bait if a largemouth are in here. Here I am having fun with. <laughs> that bluegill wants nothing to do with the deeper water right there right now. Okay. So that was a largemouth. And this is a white perch. What a white perch. Close your gills. Open your mouth. Little white perch. Little white perch. Boy, he's beat up. That bass wanted him. I think I'm going to go get my swim bait again. There he is. Oh, he's coming up. There he goes. Oh, coming up again. Oh, just a little one. Just a little one. No. Oh, I can lift him. He's not hooked very good. Oh, we'll see if I can lift him up here. Oh, you got him. Again on that spark shed. fat fish yeah, about a 13 inch fish a little, it's actually a little large mouth yeah it's not that terribly big no I won't keep them I don't know if you can see that in one pound one pound four ounces yeah this is just a little one <laughs> That's a largemouth bass. Yeah. They're pretty healthy too. Yeah, they are healthy. They certainly are. I'm gonna have to retire this one. I'm half tempted. up to a bigger bait and see what happens but I don't think no the hook's too small for that one and we will go back and just put a fresh one on there. out 
so I can kind of see where they need to come out at to lay flat. And then I'll take it, squeeze it, and just kind of bury that hook point, make it a little weedless. Let's see what else we can do. Here's these days so far today. Still didn't get what I came down here after. It's nicer than that. Wind isn't whipping. I'm gonna catch a fish here, Lovins. I can feel it. It's just a matter of time. There he is. Oh, missed him again. That must be another. That must be another little one. Maybe I'll short string this one and give him a little bit of time next time. I'll do it like a trout fishing. Just let that current tumble that bait around. Oh, oh there he was again. Son of a gun. <laughs> For a little Minnesota. I still want to move down to that bridge. Let's see if I can't get some crappy. I don't know why I think they're down there. Oh, there he is. No, he's not. Maybe he was. I don't think that was a bluegill. That walking bridge downstream here. There he is. Got him that time, and that's another little one. We're gonna let him fight out here and see if something bigger decides to come up after him. Nope. Maybe that has something to do with a white perch. This is just another little female bluegill. They've been saying these white perch are running in these in these little rivers right now. But I'm used to catching, you know, we're used to those pound, pound and a half white perch. Not these little eight inch deals. I want something that's worth filleting. Oh, there's another one. That's a little bluegill. Zing! Who what? Oh, I thought you saw something come up. And another female bluegill. Lots of females. Well, like I said before with the females, females usually have this yellow breast. Males right now will be like a dark, dark orange. And this little tiny spot. <laughs> I'm trying to there's a word for it, and I forget what the heck it is. They're smaller on the females than the blue males are. Males of them have one that's like a size of your thumbnail when they get decent. I do something different with this. Yeah, put it in the front here. Let's see how fast this takes. Gonna be a fish every cast right now. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe fish on every cast. Nothing big. 
I'm gonna have more fun hooking them to see if something will come up after it than I do. <laughs> and we have the win. And he wanted that one. That one's way in there. Way down in there. This is one of those times where I wish I pushed my barb down. Because now I gotta get the surgical tools out. Come here, fish. This is not good. Oh, that was easy. And we'll see if we can get three for three here. Another fish one. This is a male. That is a male bluegill. That one may go seven and a half inches. Let's see. Let's see what we got here once. That one goes seven and a half inches. Actually, seven and three quarter inches. It's getting bigger, slowly, maybe. So, I didn't have what I was looking for. There's Berkeley honeyworms. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change colors. I'm going to try a, a pearl pink head instead of that chartreuse green. Right now the wind's died down, but this cloud cover really moved in now. Things slowed down a little bit. We'll see if it's a color game. We'll see if that plays any effect into it. Oh, there was one. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. There was a tag and fish. Well, what do I got? I think I got another white perch or I snagged up shad. Either way, that's another white perch. I'm gonna let him flop around out here for a little bit. I knew what happened last time I did this. He's about the right size, too. Okay. In you come. Don't be flaring your gills out at me. I know how to handle you. They're a neat looking little fish. Maybe they look terrifying though, don't they? See bye. So I want a vertical jig down here and I hear this hissing. I don't think Mama Goose likes to likes the fact I'm standing here so close to her. I think we've come to an agreement, Lau. I'm gonna fish, leave her alone, and she's not gonna attack me. Hopefully, this goes down here. I need a step ladder. All I want is a crappy. Ooh, there he is, too. 20 feet. Oh, and that's my next species. All 
<laughs> Cute little guy. Look at that. Some bloop. And out he goes. Okay. Go back and tell your granddad to show up. Oh, we're up in the sky. Come down here. Oh, there's another fish. Another little crap is awaiting. Still not what we're looking for. Okay. So I found a collection of crappie. But they are certainly not anything we're talking about. So in a quest to try to find a larger fish, or at least a crappie, I'm gonna up to size bait. See okay, so this is what happens when you catch a whole bunch of little fish and you think this is really nice. I don't even think this fish is seven inches. This fish is eight inches. Eight inches, and I'm thinking it's a nice fish. Not yet. <laughs> 